holiness. Bukhetwa. Truth without gain is Moniti holiness. Truth is holiness. Everybody who worship must call. If you worship an idol, you call an idol. If you worship the living God, you call him. But the license of calling him is holiness. Mara license ya Holiness without loving God is no holiness. If you love God, you'll be afraid to offend him. If you love God, you will love him to do what he says. I want to tell you the meaning of holiness. Number one, Number one is to set yourself aside so that you will have behaviors of pleasing him. That is holiness. You set yourself aside and develop behaviors Number two is to represent him on his will. To represent him on his will. Number three is to overcome temptation. You know, most of the time when you are tempted is to make you to sin and you get out from holiness. So now, if you overcome that temptation, no, no, it means you chose. Ye. After you have been given some options, you chose to do what is right. And the last one is to love him. Loving him is holiness. When you are called to the life of holiness, you understand that all his ways are righteous. Including all his works. So to partake in those things. You need to live a holy life. What is the reason why God wants you to be holy? Why because he is holy. If now you do the difference, it means you don't fear him. It means you don't love him. By whatever we are doing, we are declaring God the way we know him. Set yourself aside. What God is looking for you is to live a life that pleases him. God wants you to live the life of pleasing Him. And if you do that, you will partake in His holiness. He has called you unto the life of holiness. And you are declared to live a life of holiness. Sometimes we need to check if you say you are a Christian, you are a pastor, you are whatever. If your life is different with what the scriptures are saying. No matter of what you are doing, you are doing it in vain. I don't know if you are hearing me. How can you say? You are preaching the gospel when you don't respect God. You are preaching the gospel when you don't fear God. You are preaching the gospel when you are just insulting God. Holiness shows that you fear Him. I don't know if you are hearing that. You want to have to partake in His holiness. We must endure the chastening from the Lord. For example, he's not giving you what you want now. Endure. If you endure, it's for the best fruit for the best fruit you produce. You are sick, but you cannot be healed. You are living a holy life and you are calling upon the Lord. Your endurance is to partake in holiness. Because there are other options you can take. You can still go somewhere where you can be given something. But you still hold on unto the Lord. 
Because you don't want to defile yourself and affect fellowship with him. So therefore, any chastening from the Lord is dealing with us as sons and daughters. Whatever you are going through, is just to come out to be a son and a daughter. The Bible says the, the whole manifestations. The whole manifestations of sons and daughters are supposed to appear because the creation has been waiting. So there have to be a challenge on you to discipline you to come out as a pure son and daughter. So not all things you pray for you will get. If not, you are, not, you are illegitimate. In do that chastening. It might be dealing with your pride. It, it might be dealing with your pride. When the pride is gone, you represent God. When we look at you, we see God. I don't know if you are hearing me. I mean, if you want to live a holy life, don't hide your mistakes. Once Peter tries shy, I mean, the, the, the mistakes you have committed must not come back. Again. And don't hold each other with mistakes. I don't know if you're hearing that. Amen. So let's check our mistakes. And let us not capitalize to each other by mistakes. If I love you and we love God, we can help each other out of our mistakes. I don't know if you hear me. We will correct each other. When we pray, God will hear us.